Are you ready to go to ISIS yet? Kelborn told me that they were covert military and probably aligned with Colonel Tobin from ISIS. Kelborn doesn't think they'll send out any more scouts, but that doesn't mean there aren't more of them out there. Colonel Tobin is General Vaclo's right-hand man. Despite his martial skill, he handles himself as a functionary more than a warrior. Back when we were fighting Vaclu's resistance during the Mandalorian Wars, Vaclu wouldn't have any use for a poisonous Kenrath like Tobin. But Vaclu seems to have adapted well to peacetime. Are you ready to go to I I'm going to talk with Zuka and have him start a shuttle flight check. After that, we'll head out. How are the port stabilizers? They check out Mandalore, all systems are green. Good. I want the shuttle bound for Onderon within the hour. What do you want? Is all in readiness? <laughs> it is. Like I promised. Why? You want to back out now? My only concerns are for the one you escort to Onderon, Mandalorian. Would you do any less for one of your clan? Don't pretend to understand us. We Mandalorians are a breed apart. If by apart you mean scattered, broken, and lost, then yes, you are correct. Not for long. Soon the Mandalorians will be strong again, united as one clan under one banner. Mine. Ah, yes. The Great Crusade. After the first one was ended by Revan and the Jedi. Such a defeat was merciful, an echo of the end, when your ships were in flames, crushed in the grip of Malachor V. But I do not need to remind you of such things. I was at Malachor V, and I remember how many Jedi died to stop us there. And no matter how many dead orbit that planet, the Mandalorians still live. Clan Ordo still lives. See Kex there? He was serving on Nar Shaddai's muscle for the huts. Kelborn was a scout for the Duros on Frontier Worlds. I brought them here, gave them a purpose. This galaxy will be ours again, I promise you. That is the future. Indeed. The future is always in motion. It is a difficult thing to see. Perhaps there will be no New Age Mandalore, no Great Mandalorian Crusade. Perhaps your people fought their last battle at Malachor V, and you have been dying ever since, a quiet death that will last centuries. And perhaps all that remains will be what I see before me, a man wounded by a Jedi, encased in a Mandalorian shell, hunted by the thought of being the last of the Mandalorians. You've got some guts talking to me like that. You think your age or your Jedi whelp are going to keep you safe from me? No, Mandalore, you are wrong. I hope that it is you who will keep the one I travel with safe. You are loyal, and you have served many masters, even following them into darkness. Do you wonder where he wanders now, Mandalore? Why he betrayed you at the end, cast you down, left you broken at the edge of the galaxy? How do you know that? I know many things, and I can answer the question that burns within your shell, Mandalore. But there is a price. You must keep the one I travel with safe. She is important to me, more important than anything. Show the same loyalty you have shown in the past, Mandalore. If there is a Mandalorian crusade, let it be for something that will carry your people's memory into the future. So when the time comes when there are no more Mandalorians, then at least their honor will remain. The one I travel with has walked your same path, and I ask that when the end comes that you remember that kinship, even if it seems there is nothing else left. Forget the Jedi. Keep your eyes on her. Uh, one, two, three. Mandalorians, we've got company. Stealth targets have breached our perimeter. Wait a moment. I sense there is a disturbance in the camp. Our enemy has tracked us here. I did not expect them so soon. How did they get here, I wonder? Regardless, we must eliminate them all. None of them can escape. Our whereabouts must remain a secret. Let us join the battle. Our allies will need our help. Oh, my God.
Take care of cleaning up the mess. Vaklu saying that the Republic ship attacked first? That's madness! Unfortunately, lie or not, it's a madness people will believe. The timing of this is atrocious. A space battle above our skies? So many of our fighters lost? Curiously, only Tobin's men were involved in that battle. That shooter! Strong word, Your Majesty. But there is no good time for news like this. I recommend we continue with our plan. But won't that bring even more followers to Vaklu's side? Increasing his power? For a time, perhaps. But we both know he's not the true threat. It's his unseen support from the shadows that we must drag out into the light. Then, and only then, can we strike. I fear by then it will be too late. Here we are, the city of Isis. It's been shut down tight for months now. General Vaklu is close to declaring martial law. We won't be able to travel too far in the city. Fortunately, I have a friend in this quarter of the city. He's a doctor by the name of Dagon Ghent. His office is on the other side of the market square. It might be best if you do the talking around here. The Andoronians have a mixed view of Mandalorians after we conquered their world. Thank <laughs> you. 
It's been a while since you've docked here, eh? I suppose the lockdown has hurt your profits as well. You are human, aren't you? Your face looks... Ah, oh, never mind that. Oh, it must be hard to shuttle people when nobody's allowed to leave. The blockade has been bad for everyone. Your manifest says it's been two months since you last came here. Oh, it's become much worse since your last trip. Military checkpoints are everywhere. Nothing new. Our space forces have been in full readiness ever since the space battle in orbit. Tensions are running high. All Republic vessels must be searched, and the delays are turning pilots grey before their time. And ever since the Republic fired on our space forces, things have been even slower. Bad days. Bad days. And things are getting worse. I'd get out of the system quickly, if I were you, friend. Well, doesn't look like you have any trade goods, so the inspection's just a formality. Here's your starport visa. Don't lose it. They're priceless right now. If you want to leave the planet, you need a starport visa. They're very hard to get. Many people want to get out of here before things get worse. Certainly. Mind what I said about the starport visa. I know one captain already who can't get back into the starport. General Vaclu was an underground resistance leader during the...
Fair winds to you, Offworlder. Is it too much to hope that you are a Talosian merchant? These beasts you see here are for delivery to Telos, but the Republic vessels that transport them have to wait for thorough and needlessly long searches. So the city is stacked with caged beasts waiting for their ships. We have stopped gathering beasts now, but they still fill the city. For Drexel and Ryder, the Athorians brought wealth and prosperity. Our settlements prospered, but now... They have been kept in their cages for a long time. But yet at times, I feel as if something else is affecting them. Frightening them. Perhaps it is the city itself. Isis has fallen upon dark times, and tensions run high in the streets. These beasts you see here are for delivery, but the Republic vet we have... I am a beast rider. I have flown great distances gathering the animals you see here. We keep hoping that Ethorians or Telosians get through the Space Force's searches so that we can sell them. Our people have been here for centuries, though we were not always one with the wilds of Onderon. In ancient times, our people were criminals, prisoners who were cast out of Isis and sentenced to die by the beasts in the wilds. But our ancestors learned how to survive and even tame the mighty beasts. They became our strength and companions. We fought endlessly with Isis for resources and survival. But two generations ago, an Isis princess named Galia and a great beast rider hero, Oron Kira, married. They united our peoples. But now things are unraveling. Even the beasts can smell it in the air. Many beast riders have fallen to the city ways, and some are now no more than common thugs. Queen Talia and her cousin General Vakru argue in open councils. The beasts stir from the changes in the wind and cannot be calmed, and we beast riders find it harder to enter the city each day. No one is to leave the city without the starport visas. It chokes passage in and out of Isis. Telos needs new ecosystems if the reclamation efforts on the planet are to succeed. Ethor, Onderon, and Duxon are rich in food chains necessary to create new life on Telos and sustain it. Although some of your terms are unknown to me, what you say is true. Telos was attacked by Darth Malak in the Jedi Civil War. The surface was completely destroyed. The Athorians have been searching for appropriate wildlife to create a new Telos but their merchants are stalled by the blockade. That'll be another death blow to Telos if no new ecosystems can be brought to the planet. The Ithorians are only part of the equation. Your friend is correct. Much harm is being done on both sides as long as the blockade is in effect. Calm. Calm. What? Run! The Boma is out of control! I... I don't know what to say. I've heard stories, but I assumed that they were fledgling riders. 
or simply tales that grow in the telling. Not since my first Drexel have I lost control of a beast. I apologize profusely. Here, I give you these credits for the danger I put you in. The beast grow more agitated by the day. The stories say that the smoldering fires of city politics cast a smoke they can smell and breathe. They revert to their primal instincts, as... as you've just seen. Halt, Offworlder. You'll have to answer some questions before you go into the city. What is your business on Isis? I don't think your business is any concern of mine. While you're at it, tell him to forget he ever saw us. Could be useful. Not only is your business not my concern, I can't seem to remember why I'm holding you up. You're free to go. Don't lose your Starport visa, otherwise you won't be leaving for a long while. Let's hurry this up. I want him escorted out of here quickly. This is outrageous. I'm not a spy. I'm a journalist for Isis Calm. You're a Republic spy, and your propaganda will be silenced. We are taking you back to our barracks for interrogation. But, well, you can't be serious. You accuse me of propaganda? I have proof that Vaklu is withholding information on the so-called Republic. One more word of treason out of you. What are you looking at? This is none of your business. Please, ma'am, help me. Vaklu's troops won't listen. I'm just a journalist, not a spy. This spy has been using his position as a journalist to spread lies and dissent among our people. No doubt he's been up to other treasonous activity as well. But that's just crazy! I was a member of the Resistance. I fought in the Mandalorian Wars. Yes, and your disloyalty now deeply sickens me. What do you mean? I like the way you think. Men, let's take the back way to the barracks. But no, no, wait. You can't do this! Please, Captain, help me. My children and I are dead. You have the look of someone used to adversity. A cut above. Everyone around here begs and pleads night and day for open starport visas. Very touching. I offer you 2,000 credits if you find an open starport. I only know of one person who might offer something comparable. And what's going on there is illegal. There's only one thing ultimately more important than money, and that's your life. She's trouble. I wouldn't deal with her. I want nothing to do with her. If you want to get involved with that sort of person... No, I don't think so. Dashiel said, the Republic attack would surely have done more damage. Tobin is one of Isis's greatest heroes and deserves recognition. The Ithorian fleet has yet again pushed back estimates for when the beasts will be cleared. Not only has this... Disturbingly, there have been two additional beast attacks today. Welcome to what must be the smelliest place in the universe, Offworlder. How can I assist you? That's an air defense tower. The city's filled with them. Isis is an ancient city. 
and for many generations, our main enemy was the beast riders that lived outside the city. Towers like these were built to protect us against Drexel and their beast riders. A Drexel is a flying beast. Huge creatures with teeth the size of your arms. Lethal, and skin like ferrosteel plate. About 50 years ago, Princess Gallia married one of the great leaders of the Beast Riders, Orin Kira. By the end of it, Gallia was crowned queen. It's hard to put aside centuries of con- Citizens usually only see the fallen Beast Riders, who know better than- Certainly. These are troubled times. You've probably heard- I've been warned from command to keep my opinions to myself. Ask around, though. There are plenty- Times are too complex for a simple soldier like myself. If you say anything bad about a superior officer, they call that disrespecting the rank. Do that too many times and it's not long before... The politics of the day is... Opinions are like giz... Stay out of... Please tell me you're an off-worlder. You are. Wait, this is not so. <laughs> you think to make a joke on Gagarin? <laughs> but this is good news. You have a starport visa, right? I, I can only sell my best weapons if you have that. Watch it, Keg. The captain already... No need to be alarmed, my foreign friend. Pay the soldier no heed. There must come a time when the Queen bows to the will of the people. The Republic has brought nothing but war and death. In our 50 years of flying their colors, we have had more war than the past millennia. Back General Vaklu in his effort to make her see reason. We do not need the Republic. They need our resources, our world, and our blood. For all that we have given, now we get nothing. The Republic is weak and falling apart. Its Jedi, whose fallen brethren have brought such misery to us, have disbanded. Let's be the first world to take our future into our hands. Are you with me? Exactly. That is all we ask. Close to two-thirds of Onduranians want to reclaim our independence, to isolate ourselves from the ravages of the Republic, to relive our golden age when we answered to no Senate. That's enough, Ponlar. If you keep this up, you're going to spend time in detention. You're coming awfully close to treason. You can't silence me forever, soldier. But I'll keep my peace. For now. The rumor I've heard is that you don't fully agree with our Queen and her supporters. If you aren't adverse to Queen Talia stepping down, we could use your help. It would be quite worth your while. I am a strong supporter of General Vaklu. The Merchant Quarter is an important area. Not only financially, but strategically as well. It is one of the few districts that is directly connected to the Royal Palace. The Queen and her advisors are well aware of this and have ensured that the captains here are extremely loyal to her. This presents complications for Vaklu. If you could arrange for them to be removed from their command, you will be richly compensated. You can't attack them directly. The entire city would be after you if you assaulted their checkpoints. You may have to be subtle and patient. They don't have to be killed, just removed from command. There's Galisi at the starport. Riken commands from the turret tower. 
and Bastuko guards the entrance to the Sky Realm. All loyal, and all need to be reassigned. He's the most junior of the captains. His superior, Captain Sulio, met with an accident. I believe you're familiar with that. Besides his strong loyalty to the Queen, I know next to nothing about him. He sometimes frequents the local cantina when he's in at his post. He's been responsible for the Merchant Quarter for years. He's been chastised repetitively for his criticism of General Vaklu. His years of service won't protect him if he continues to subvert the chain of command. He has received several warnings. With a nudge, he just may get a dishonorable discharge. He's the most junior of the captains. His superior, Captain Sulia, besides his strong... A true veteran, years of honorable service, completely dedicated to the Queen. Sadly, I think he's more on our side than the Queen's. But he's an old soldier that can't adapt to today's... complex situation. Regardless of what the best interests of Onderon are, he won't swerve from executing the Queen's misguided decrees. Persuasion may be ineffective. Take this military security card. It can be used to slice into security terminals. Perhaps you will find solutions there. About one. For each task you complete, I am prepared to pay you 2,500 credits. Plus, you will earn the favor. We should try to get General Vaklu to be on our side. He has a shrewd mind and is far more fit for command. Queen Talia is young and too idealistic. A veteran leader is what this planet needs and would make a better ally. Vaklu is no fool. Even if we've had disagreements in the past, to recognize how advantageous an alliance could be between us. Observation. Targets acquire annoying recipe. <laughs>
Kabwana bota ayuka taigwa kankidora. Ya sora ku da hupa bo sakurata go juju tavadumba munsuru ku plagliya wa. Moga chi norta hirembe wanachi. Kaki mogo krabo. Kawana bota. Kabwana bota ayuka taigwa kanki tavadumba munsuru ku plagliya wa. Kawana bota. Fereki mangradu no kuherete taracho mo sincho kavavol kawana bota yuta tanga on dollar no saka drum pabana karas kawana bota ayuka taigwa kankidora ya sora ku tuka u pariki mangra do cha skri kawana bota yuta tanga dawancha mori konsova Ma punta chiwita inca. Muli brava i berendi a ti. Quanta sort! Kawana botai. Kawana botai. There has been a serious accident here. The sky ramp is closed to all personnel pending an investigation. Leave now. There was an alert over by the sky ramp. Earlier. There has been a serious accident here. You're back to visit me. I've heard the news. One captain has been removed. Two to go. Here are the credits we talked about. There's twice as much waiting for There's Galisi at the starport. Riken commands from the turret tower. And Bastuko guards the entrance to the sky ramp. All loyal and all me. Back again, Offworlder? I'm sure you have. Actually, I wasn't telling you about it before. Like I said, ask around though. There are plenty. The politics of the day is probably the most talked about. Su Opinions are like. Yes, tell them what you really think, Riken. I don't think so. I know you'd like nothing better than getting me drummed out of the military, but I'm not gonna say a word. What I really mean? General Vaklu... Vaklu may be a war hero, but everything he's done since the war has been poison for us. And the Republic. There are rumors, always spoken quietly, that he has made alliances with dark powers. Things worse than the Freed and Nad movement from our past. I think... That's enough! You may be the Queen's pawn, Riken, but you will not rail against a brilliant general like Vaklu. Can't you see it? He's slick with words, but Vaklu's inner circle are responsible for dark deeds. Anyone that speaks out against him is labeled a rebel spy. You think the Republic needs a few hundred spies in Isis? Most spies are picked up in raids and never heard from again. It's just wrong. I will see you are relieved of your command for this. Your mouth just ended your career. No matter how distinguished your war record is, it is over! I don't know how much more help I'll be. Won't be in the military too much longer. I guess that's one way to win an argument. You're back to visit me. Two of the poor captains have lost their commands. Great shock, no doubt. Just one more left. Here is the sum of credit.
trouble in the night sky. Here we go. Here we go. You don't need to see me. I again apologize for the book. You're back to visit. No, no, I hope you There's Galisi at the starport. Riken commands from the turret tower. He's the most junior of the captains. His superior, besides his strong loyalty to the queen, I know next... Poor Riken couldn't keep his opinion. Your solution was extreme. The royalist was... Poor Riken could... He's the most junior of the captains. Besides his strong loyalty... Tinachara, Granacha, Ganoiso, Ragichi Sa, Ragichi Sa, Dakosha, Nichotono, Punta Chakorzo, Wama, Jumkarataka, Chono. Reinitializing complete. That goes against my primary. Market conditions all set to zero. All prices now set to base.
tag on Ghent's place. He's not the best doctor you'll ever meet, but he's well connected in this city. Doesn't look like he's here right now, though. You looking for Dagon? You're not gonna find him here. A soldier captain was murdered at the cantina real good. They got some suspects at the tower. From what I hear, Dagon Ghent is one of them. He's certainly capable of it, and probably stupid enough to get caught. But we need him, suspicion of murder or not. Like I would know. Isis is a crazy place right now. It's the turret tower on the other side of the market. Captain Riken is the man to talk to. If you talk to him, tell him I got his 20 credits. What do you want? Not really, I just started here. Malampro Tarawanji Casa, Sam Chaparada, Watasha, Contiata, Mambrata, Tiwas. Kawana Bota, Yunta Tanga, Kinamatura. Chone Mulera, Tonkinga Bano Jansaka, Nicaraska, Mungachino, Taimbre, Wanachiki. Kawana Bota, Ton. This room is reserved, off-worlder. <laughs> if you ask me, she got what she deserved. She looked down on us beast riders. Good riddance. I know his face, that's about it. His office is on Bekel's. She's a beast rider like me and our leader. You better never be speaking ill. I overheard some soldiers talking about exp There's got to be something you need, something you want. I have connections, many connections in the city. I even have a rare lightsaber crystal, something you'd never find elsewhere. If you need money, I'll pay. I really can't be any help with that. I might have been in the same detention cell that night that Dagon's in now. Let's just say I'm one of their usual suspects. Sort of. I thought it was you. 
I served in the Mandalorian Wars with you. You're a Jedi, right? I was one of the ground troops. We fought on Daggery Minor together. It was near the beginning of the war. We... Enough of the past. The whole galaxy isn't safe for Jedi now. Especially here. On... Pity. The Republic needs every capable... ドンペマスラクポパイポテンヨゴジュチョピチャクエンタバニカワドンペマスラクポパイドンペマスラクポパイポテンヨゴジュチョピチャクエンタバニソチカワドンペマスラク You look like an off-worlder. My name's Galisi. I'm a checkpoint captain at the Merchant Quarter. If you're here for Juma Juice, it's not that good, but at least it's cheap. I don't think Bith have the same sense of taste we do. Long day, as always. Sulio was captain of that checkpoint for years. I never knew why she came here every night until I got her job. We stand at the checkpoints all day long. It gets hot out there and my feet are always killing me. But now I'm in charge and everybody's problems are mine. So I have to deal with all the people begging to get out of the city. Every one of them's got a story. Let me tell you, there are a lot of sad stories out there. Hmm, she was murdered. I didn't want her job, but I got it now. The same as everyone. People are trying to blame that doctor, Dagon Ghent. I don't think even Command believe he did it, but someone's got to take the blame. I, I almost think that investigators aren't really looking. Dagon's convenient. They don't want to find the real murderer. 
Sulio was murdered, maybe even assassinated. I might be a little paranoid. I have a wife and daughter to look after, and I feel like I'm a target now. I'm tempted to just grab my family and take the first shuttle out of here. I really am torn. There are days... There are some days where I think I'm a fool to stay. I've gone over this so many times. Uh, it's, no, I still don't know what to do. So the rumors are true. If you're working with who I think you are, I'll leave. Right now. Just don't hurt my family. I, I promise. I, I won't tell anyone. I'll be on the first shuttle out. Um, I'll be going. Some mogo dosi sheba dente school mo bram taba in soju. Da com Yatuka u wan rika cho team wani. Kawana bota yuta tanga kinamatura. Dahupa bosa kurata. Kavadumpa mulivrawa i berendia. Do you have a visa yet? 
I'm still paying very well for it. I had faith you'd get hold of one. I've always been good at spotting talent. So what do you want for it? A weapon, money, or the lightsaber crystal? Your pick. Here you go. If you aren't satisfied with... General, we have found them again. Have we, Tobin? Or is this a preface to another of your failures? Consider the whole field, Tobin. Why would a Jedi risk all of this just to come to Isis? The crew of the Ebon Hawk is elusive, General. We were warned about that, but we still underestimated them. But the fools are here, in Isis. The intel on this is certain. I'm ordering men loyal to us to take care of them now. Hmm. I think I have an idea. Hold that order. Have her watched instead. The Jedi may prove a solution to another one of our persistent problems. It's the Offworlder. Listen. Let's keep this brief. I probably lost... I don't see how it could get worse. We certainly do. He and several... Captain Sulio. She was in charge of the Starport checkpoint. A good soldier. Your friend was one of the last people that saw her alive. So far, he's just a suspect. But if he did it... Dagon Ghent is the only person I know with the contacts to help us out. Until we either eliminate him as a suspect or find the real killer. Dagon has quite a record with the authorities. The Colonel thinks that murder isn't too far a stretch for some. I know Dagon personally. He's one of the worst doctors I've ever heard of. But I can't see him deliberately killing some. Ask around there. I've heard he's got a good motive for killing him. If you can somehow clear that up and prove it wasn't him, the command will cut him loose. If I say any more, I'll get in trouble. No way. We're under orders. Stay. You're back to visit me. So all three captains have been removed from their... I will let my friends know of your able assistance. I'm certain we can return the favor at some point. You've made a powerful ally, Jedi. thing we need is more competition. Greetings, Master. 1BAD was built and programmed by Tolos the Traitor. 1BAD was... Tolaran, the Manakan. It's all right. 
Dovrei... This room is reserved off. Huh. If you ask me, she got what she deserved. She looked down on us beast riders. Good riddance. I know his face, that's about it. His office is on Bekel's turf. She's a beast rider. This room is reserved. Are you satisfied with your... I really can't be any help with that. I might... Let's just say I'm one of... Nice to meet you, sentient. Are you interested in a friendly game of Pazak? The deck is warm, the drink is plentiful, and the company amiable. Can I tempt you? Foul business, that is. Like most nights, I was here. What do you want to talk about? She did? Oh no, by the four moons, what a mix-up! They got it all wrong. Dagon and Sulio were good friends. It's just when they got a little too much Juma juice, they'd carry on. <laughs> they'd call each other all manner of things. It could get quite hilarious, really. But it was just friendly banter. That night, Celia was in great form. Dagon and I were laughing about some of the choicer ones later. Yellow Tooth Dung Dweller. <laughs> we bought her a couple of drinks afterwards. It may look strange on the outside, but it was just their habit. Their way of passing time during these dark nights. Listen, if the soldiers think that's a motive, they just didn't do enough digging. That bit of information will help with clearing Dagon. But the Andoran military won't let him off that easy. They're very obstinate. Maybe some of these people will know more about what happened that night. I was cleaning up stakes from a particularly rewarding Pazak game when I heard a loud sound outside. I grabbed my blaster and went out the door. When I got out, I saw Captain Salio. She was quite dead. Blood was everywhere. I heard a noise and saw Dagon Ghent coming from his office across the courtyard. We both waited for the authorities to get there. The next day they picked up Dagon and several other people in the area. It's crazy to think he did it. Sullio was our friend. Just outside the door by the junk heap. It might be a good idea to look at the crime scene. We've... Talked with mentioned a droid. This droid. Welcome back, my Fab. That would be Bohemia's SOD-2. Uh, no, SOD-3. 
Or is it two? Whichever one it was, he keeps losing them. I remember when I arrived, it was still smoldering. Who knows? Sometimes the slum dwellers shoot his serving droids for fun. This part of the quarter is getting more and more lawless, I'm afraid. When Dagon and I were waiting for the soldiers, we had to chase off some scavengers that were stripping SOD3. No, I'm afraid there was quite a crowd growing. We were seeing if there was any way we could help Sullio. There was nothing we could do if... Da one da upa, bossa, curata, go, juju to yoki, hiata, punta chiwita, inca, ki cry. Da one cha more chiwa, mufalawa, ni bobo, wish yo. Ichawa, te crossi, wish yo, toda si, e crimba chu. Sakurata, Punta Chiwita, Inca, Kikraya, Nachawan. The Wancha Mori Chiwa, Mufa. Ichawa, the Crossy Vicio, Toda Si, the Crimba Chok, Windindo. Scavengers on the destroyed planets are rich. Okay. 
Boson on Chirinta Masu King Kura Wanka Boson Chinsun Mikaranga to my Tonga to Estric Sukre Masukun Batungala Merontono Chunsara Croton or Ranga Manatandi Croto Mopiduna Wana Sijin Siwa no Bush Croton or Ranga Manatandi Croto Mopiduna Wana Sijin Nunchka wana sicho rana pamang posa non chirinta masukin. Welcome back. That would be Bohemia's SOD2. Uh, no, SOD3. Know him? He's probably my best friend on this planet. Honestly, he's not a very good doctor. That, who knows? Sometimes the slum dweller. When Dagon and I. No, I'm afraid there was quite a crowd growing. We were seeing if there was any way we could help Sullio. There was nothing we could do. This room is reserved. That Bith keeps buying droids, and the scavengers keep stealing them or blowing them up. Seems he. I wouldn't tell you even if I knew. I could tell you where you could find the parts, though. That western square has the perfect fence for droid parts. There is a droid. 1B8D is quite handy. Quite a few of the slum dwellers make a good living. Tina can probably do something with it. Sakura Kawana Bota Yunta Tanga Kinamatura. Hello there. What is this? Oh my, she's dead. Kawana Bota Yunta Tanga Kinamatura. Tayai. Welcome back. Fab. If it'll help Dagon, there's no way that Dagon could have done it. I saw him coming from his office. That's the opposite direction of the marketplace. Nico, is it? And the Offworlder. What brings the two of you here? That's a bold statement. I assume you have some sort of proof. It's a long story, so bear with me, Captain. The night of the murder, I was playing Pazak. It was a prosperous night. That should do it. 
We still don't know who killed Sulio, but this will greatly assist our investigation. You have been ordered off this investigation, Captain. I hope you can explain yourself. I had nothing to do with this, sir. This citizen found information about Captain Sulio's murder. It's material to the investigation. We've already got our man. Sulio and this Ghent were fighting the night she was murdered. He had ample motive. Have you read the report? Some of the things Solio called him were vile. Solio and Dagon clearly hated each other. Why, you little... Friends would not carry on in such a manner... It's absolutely true, Major. I was a friend of both of them. They've done this dozens of times. Bahima the bartender can confirm it, as well as half a dozen other people. They were an odd pair, but they certainly didn't hate each other. I see. Well, there's still the fact that he was right there at the scene of the crime. So what? What matters is who was there first. An eyewitness said he came from his office almost immediately. The only thing that matters to me is that he was within blaster range when Sullio was killed, and he did not have an alibi. You have a recording? And I'm sure you're just misinterpreting it. I've seen it myself, Major. Nico isn't the only one that spotted Dagon coming from his office. It really can't be Dagon Gant. The real killer is still loose. Very well, Captain. Set Gent free, then. But if later it turns out that he did do it, it's gonna be on your head. The men will be working on getting Dagon Gant out right away. The Major sure isn't happy. You're quite a team. Together, you got the Major to back down. That's no small feat. The investigation has been handled at the highest levels. I've heard there's been some concern about that. With Dagon free, I don't know if the investigation team will find another suspect. They haven't been as diligent as other investigators. I'm not gonna say any more. Probably said too much already. If you head over to Dagon Gent's office, some men will bring him there shortly. Thanks for clearing this whole thing up. I could tell the justice wasn't being served, but we all have our orders. We really need to patrol that sector better. Thanks for getting me out of there. As detention cells go, it had definite class, but I prefer being out of my own all the same. What the hell happened to you anyway? Your face looks like the back end of a dewback. Well, regardless, I owe you and Mandalore one. Not many people can help you out with that. There have been several assassination attempts on Queen Talia. That place is locked tighter than a hut's fault. I know a few people, though. Who do you need to get in touch with? A Jedi Master, you say? Now that is interesting. It's quite a bounty in Jedi these days. Not that I'm looking to collect, but if there's a Master there, I think I know who it is. There's a slight problem with that. I know you don't want to hear that since you went through all the effort of springing me out. The thing is, scavengers have already looted most of my stuff. Most of it's garbage anyway, so I don't care too much. But I did have a couple of encrypted holodisks that they nabbed. So here's the punchline. I need those disks because they have some contact information on them. The people I know you don't just walk up and chat with. There's a procedure, and that holodisk has the procedure. But Kel's gang pretty much owns this street. From what I hear, she's the one that cleaned me out. She's in the local cantina most days. She's tough as Drexel leather and more dangerous than an angry Wookiee. You take Mandalore with you, though, you should be just fine. Just get me the encrypted holodisc. After that, if there is a Jedi Master in the palace, I'll get you a meeting with him.
ship off world. What do you want here, Offworlder? The room is taken. The whole cantina is taken. You should leave. You? And just how do you intend to do that? It isn't for sale. I warned you, Offworlder. Kill her! <laughs> Are you satisfied with your It's the offworlder. Listen, let's keep this brief. I don't see how. So you're back. My offer is still stands. This is. It is worth more, indeed. No, the pleasure. Is he off? Found the encrypt. Great going there. With these, I'll check my contacts at the palace. I should be able to get a meeting with your Jedi Master shortly. You got anything you need to take care of in the quarter? You best do it now. You're dealing with serious politics by contacting him. If things go bad during a meeting, you may not be welcome in Isis anymore. Perhaps never. Just let me know if you want to go through with this. Yeah, yeah, I'll get on it. Grab a cot and rest a bit. Once I get a meeting time, I'll let you know. Is this meeting a trap? I can't afford to lose you, especially given recent events. Anything could be a trap. Vaklu is no fool. 
But if the message is true... Is this necessary? I can guarantee your safety in the palace, but outside these walls, the General has many men that would do anything for him. Nothing in life is certain, Your Majesty. But I feel something. There is a disruption in the Force. I must investigate this. Very well. But please, be cautious. Aren't I always? That's what I was afraid you'd say. Well, the meeting is on. Head straight to the cantina. You guys should be in there. And uh, no offense, but I hope I never see you again. You must have gone through a lot to arrange this meeting. The palace is a full battle readiness. Smuggling in a message is no small task. Kavar, the famed Jedi Guardian. The Mandalorians counted on the fact it would be you, not Revan, who would lead the Jedi against us during the Mandalorian Wars. I wonder how we'd have fared against you. I thought you were killed fighting Malak during the Jedi Civil War. It seems my former student keeps curious company. Strange times lead to strange alliances, though. No, I survived the war, if only just. Why are you here? I imagine that you hold little love for any on the Jedi Council anymore, even an old friend. You have to understand that it was a time of great uncertainty. We just learned that Darth Revan was back with an armada. Every Jedi that went with him was lost, corrupted, and as dark as their master. And then there was you. Many thought you were a spy, but there's more to it than that. And I think you deserve an expo- Am I interrupting? In orbit, I thought for sure that the Ebon Hawk was mine. I was certain, only to see you slip through my fingers during the battle. Imagine my delight to discover you were on Isis. Quite careless, if you ask me. Get them, men, and watch your aim. Civilian casualties cause a mess of paperwork. I'm I'll get word to you when I'm able. Run! What? What have you done to my men? Blast! Men, take care of her! I won't let Kavar escape. It's gonna be tough to avoid hitting innocence in this crowded cantina. Stop the fighting! Stop! Sergeant, take care of the witnesses. I'm sorry we had to do that. Appearances have to be maintained, and I'm afraid we don't have much time. You've helped out General Vaklu, and he understands how to show gratitude. We have allies, terrible allies. They want you dead. However, the General believes you could ultimately be an even greater ally. But we have to maintain appearances. Do you understand? Exactly. That way they are satisfied that we are still loyal to them. I assume you want to know more about our ally. There is little we know about him. Or her, even. It's a Sith Lord. No idea of the name. Frankly, we had no idea who we were dealing with at first. And by the time we did, it was too late. The General believes we can make a new alliance that will be in both of our interests. Vaklu wants to control all of Onderon, and perhaps more down the road. The Republic's time is nearly over, and strong men like him will rule the age to come. You have shown that you are strong too, and he feels it inevitable that you become a force to be reckoned with. We'd like to ask your assistance in dealing with our ally, the Sith Lord. We have much to offer in return. Eventually, we will attack Queen Talia's palace. Isis is an ancient city filled with artifacts from our darker past. Besides, the Sith Lord wants you dead, and an enemy of... For now, it's simple. We have to act like you're our enemy. When you leave this cantina, my men have orders to kill you. There is no way they could possibly stand up to you, but they don't know that. Leave Isis, and don't come back until we send a message for you. If the payment I've offered you is insufficient, 
I assure you, General Vaklu himself, you must make a choice. Will you support us or the Queen? Vaklu is a political animal, but he has never backed out of a deal. The Sith must have changed their arrangements substantially for him to consider betraying them. You can trust his offer. He's from... No, you didn't. Make up. Excellent. You won't regret this decision. We will contact you. Like I told you, the men outside will try to kill you. We will talk later.
What? What's happening in the West Square? It sounded like battle. Command's ordered comm blackout. Do you know what's going on? I see. But I could have sworn I heard something in the West Square. Uh, oh. Carry on, citizen. Diagnostic is doing something strange. Target acquired? What the hell does that mean? Your has been scanned. You're cleared to leave. I'd leave right away. Things are going crazy in this quarter. Crime rates have been soaring in recent months. There have been multiple... One local... It's getting so bad... Those, those damn turrets are going crazy. Shuttle is just ahead. I think we should get out of here fast. It's gonna be some time before they forget about us here. No more trips to ISIS for us until the situation changes. A lot. Jedi, but such actions only delay the inevitable, annoying recitation. Let us proceed to facilitate communications. Recitation. And... <laughs>
back. The shuttle is going to stay docked here until further notice. I'm not ready to part company yet. It sounds like you have a lot of traveling to do. So do I. I'm going with you. The Sith have taken a particular interest in you, and you could use an extra blaster. I've been meaning to leave Duxon to look for other Mandalorian clans anyway. The Sith aren't known for sharing power. If the Jedi Order is destroyed for good, it's inevitable that the Sith will dominate the Republic. And then my people will be eradicated or enslaved. Helping your cause is a matter of necessity. Mandalorians helped Exar Kun during his war. We know firsthand how we'd fare in the service of their like. But that's enough for now. We'll have time to talk later. The Ebonhawk is patched up and ready to go. When you're ready to depart, we can ask the guide here to take us back to the ship.